Hello, so today I'm starting my video in the kitchen and as you can tell I have very dirty eggs. My younger chickens have decided to sleep in the nest boxes instead of the roost because all the older chickens have taking up the top spots and leaving the lower spots and then none of the chickens take the lower spots because of the two geese I have they seem to in the early nights when as the chickens are going into the coop my geese I, uh, they grab at their feet as they're sitting there so None of the chickens sleep on the lawn because the goose, geese keep, I don't know, nip, nipping at them. It's, it's annoying. So they have found refuge in the nest boxes. And because of that, as people know, the chickens sleep in nest boxes. The nest boxes get full of poop. And it looks like... And looks like a couple of the eggs are covered in yolk, so that means I got an egg eater again. So I gotta re-break that habit, and the best way to break, in my opinion, egg, egg breaking chickens is to collect your eggs on, on an hourly basis. That means go out and collect constantly. And the chickens will stop looking in the nest boxes for eggs. Alright, we're outside. Looking at my rabbits, they're good. Look, I'm trying what I've gotta try to do today is get it get into my chicken coop. <clears throat> As I was saying, see the lower part? It's always empty. Because the geese can reach up and nip at the chicken's feet. So yeah, that's why all the that's why all the young chickens sleep in my next boxes i want to rebuild the uh the roosting bars uh, yeah it's uh never been satisfied with them chickens have a very hard time getting on on them at night and it just i know i could do a better job make it easier for the chickens yeah so let me get set up so I've got my 200 some feet of cord so I'll start with dismantling of the bars of the roosting bars Just nasty poo. I'm very limited to <laughs> what I could build because I only have four pieces of two by four that are about almost 10 feet long 
I don't know if you guys have noticed, but prices for lumber have tripled in the last month. And I no longer can afford to buy <laughs> lumber. Uh, yeah, so we're on a tight budget, so kind of why my rabbit hutch build has kind of stopped. I, I can't buy, buy any of the lumber because it's I can't we can't afford to and I realized that the location that I, I was gonna build my rabbit hutch it was in a terrible place uh, luckily I it rained real real hard one one day and I ran out to collect my tools and put things away and I noticed the, the way the water flows <laughs> And because I moved all the rocks and kind of cleared everything up, the water kind of just flows right into that building. And uh, I'm not a lot, but just enough to where it's more water is getting into the building than it already was getting into that building. And I thought, oh, it's not going to do to the building once I start putting a rabbit and they poop and pee right there. And that water comes rushing down and push. so I to that idea, the location of that build, last thing I need is poo water going into one of my sheds. I put that extra 45 right there to give this some strength. Alright, so to give you a basic layout. I'll tack that one like that. And the second one will sit somewhere like right here. Or like that, you know, so. Yeah. What is that? Where the nest is? I see some eggs up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baba, I think that All right, whole new route. I don't have enough lumber, so I'm gonna just slant that and put it on top, which I sh probably should have done in the first place changed my design idea and I have just gone straight to that hopefully that's good enough for the chickens I think it, it should be right hey you guys are burying my level look at it. my levels right there and they buried it I did that because I was running out of materials and I didn't have that much materials left. And last thing I need is run out, so. The other way would have been nicer looking, I think. But uh, just waste of pieces and a lot of pieces that wouldn't be used. <laughs> so I figured uh, that's too much of a waste. I gotta go simpler. Crooked. Oh yeah, but it worked. <laughs> That's my new systems. Hopefully they like that a lot better. It's a lot more room for me to clean. Still got plenty of room for me to reach underneath and clean up. But with the uh, 
the system I do, I don't have to uh, rake out all the time. You know, it's, it's bare ground down there, so it just decomposes into the ground. So yeah. Every time I throw a straw in here, it goes, you know, comes up almost a foot. And then over time, this chicken scratch and break it down and things decompose and I would say maybe end of maybe the end of next summer I'm probably gonna have to uh, come in here and take all this out and restart all over again but that's it's gonna be a lot of compost and that's kind of my method here it's to you know create compost in here with straw and chicken poo and the chickens do a great job keep turning it over constantly so but it takes a while for you know to, for it all to break down to, to get enough to make it worth it so yeah i'm done uh for the day i won't bother filming me cleaning up no one really wants to watch that but uh thank you for watching and uh this is Growing Little Country Homestead, and uh, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Oh, and uh, I've been doing a lot of research on making YouTube. I guess I'm supposed to say something like, like and subscribe, but I don't know. If you like it, you'll subscribe. If you don't, you don't. That's the way it works. All right, I'll see you.